Good evening. Hi guys, this is Marvin from TechBureau.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy bureaus. So in today's stream, we're gonna take a look at finally a new keyboard from Rack Gears. So for those of you who don't know, Rack Gears is a local brand here in the Philippines that produces quality products in a relatively affordable price point. And finally, we're gonna check the new Rack Pluma mechanical keyboard. Let me know in the comments below if you're still interested to tear this apart. I think we still have time. But let me just give you guys a quick um, size comparison so that you can have an idea how it compares with the previous Rack Lam Ang Pro mechanical keyboard if I can make these two fit together on my overhead camera. So basically, they look like a real brother. Yeah? They look like a real brother and sister or brother or brother, sister and sister. Right? Uh, as you can tell, the, the shape looks looks identical. I mean, the curvature, even the angle or the top housing construction as I shown you earlier. There you go. So, I will not be surprised if the internals are... Are the same as well let's tear this apart all right so moving forward let's tear this keyboard apart because we still have time and you guys are interested to know the internals of this keyboard so right here we have uh, we can have an idea about the plate so it is color white obviously and um, yeah we have a lot of screws around I think I think it looks really similar to the Raklam Ang Pro in terms of the construction. I remember I remember you also have some clips around this top housing before you can remove it and of course you have screws on the plate itself. So I think I can remove remove this without removing the switches. Let's see. There you go. So it's it's very similar to the Raklam Ang Pro. But surprisingly, it's super easy to remove the top cover. So I believe or I hope Rack Gears can also release um, extra or different colored top cover so that you can easily customize this keyboard. Yeah, very similar to the Rack Lam Ang Pro, which is a good sign. Which is a good sign because the Rack Lam Ang Pro is a highly customizable keyboard. Okay, so let me just remove. So we have screw here, 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 here and here and two on the center it should if I'm going to guess if I'm going to guess the color of the battery on this keyboard is color blue <laughs> having an electronic screwdriver makes keyboard building easier if you have if you don't have an electronic screwdriver yet better get one guys Honestly, my opinion about this keyboard is that I wish they did this with Gateron or Kale Universal Hotsup Socket even if they bumped the price to around 2,500 pesos because I think that's that's the better option for us um, rather than Otemu but I think, I hope they are planning to release a pro version with Gateron or Kale Universal Socket soon and this is just an introductory for the 60% layout. Alright, so I've already done removing the screws and as with the Rock Lamang Pro, you can just easily lift this up. But of course, um, be careful because there is a wire connecting the PCB to the battery and um, yeah, I guess it's right. The battery is color blue like the Rock Lamang Pro. So there you go. Let me just remove the connector. Alright. Okay, so let's take a look at the bottom housing first before we take a look at the the PCB and plate combo. Alright, so here's the bottom housing and we have our battery and it's good that we have some sort of insulation between the battery and the PCB. Sort of acrylic plastic or uh, clear plastic here. And then of course we have our connector going to the, the PCB and there's a potential to put some EVA foam here if you're into that. So, like I said, it's reminiscent of the build quality or the construction of the Rack Lam Ang Pro. As you can tell with this PCB, even the controller board here looks the same with the Rack Lam Ang Pro. Even the switch actually, if I remember it correctly, 
looks uh, the same with the rack lamp. Probably the same manufacturer. Most probably, of course. And as you can see, the soldering is pretty good. And like I said, it um, it would have been better if this uh, Kale or Gatron had up socket. But maybe again, uh, again and again, maybe that would be on the pro version of this keyboard. That's about it, guys. Do you have any other questions about the uh, instruction about this keyboard? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this keyboard. Is it something that you are willing to consider if you're looking for a budget 65% keyboard? And if you have any other option in mind, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. But personally, if you're if you're into 65% keyboard and your budget is really tight, I can still recommend this if you're okay with Otemu. If you're okay with Otemo switches, then, then this is a good option. But if you're like me, that wants a more flexible um, hot swap socket, then this is not the one for you. And wait probably for the pro version for maybe maybe for the Gateran and Kale hot swap socket. Judging by the, the, the features of this keyboard, I, f I think there should be a pro version of this one because I don't think this is the best possible variant like for example the rack lamp ang light there's a rack lamp ang pro right the rack lamp ang light is otemu hot swap and the pro version is universal probably that would be the same case here if i have to guess i'm not sure i haven't asked rack years about that yet maybe i will ask that later but if i have to guess there should be a pro version of this keyboard which is which should be around 2500 2900 price range so, tearing this apart and putting it back together is super easy. Anyone can do it on their own. And you can also use this trim as a reference if you want to modify this keyboard. Again, like the Rock Lamang Pro, this is highly customizable. You can put EVA foam. You can put um, some foam. You can put different materials if you want. You can modify the stabilizers without any without any issue because these are plate mount stabilizers so you can uh, modify the stabilizers without actually tearing this keyboard apart entirely you just have to remove the the keycaps basically the keycaps and then you can remove the the plate na and then modify it the way you want it to sound or feel there you go and like i said the top cover is super easy to remove hassle free so yeah, here's the top cover. As you can see here, you just have to snap it like so and you're good to go. Overall, for my probably my conclusion about this keyboard, like I said, if you're looking for a budget 65% keyboard and you're okay with an Otemu hot swap socket, that is a good option. Otherwise, just wait probably if they will release a pro version if you're looking for something like Agatron or Kale hot swap socket version if if and if they will release something like that but if not you're stuck with this for their first 65% or 60% keyboard and there you have it guys thank you for watching let me know in the comments below what you think about this keyboard and would you consider this if you're looking for a 65% keyboard or will you wait if ever Rack Gears will release a pro version of this with got it on or kale hot swap socket so thank you very much for watching you can check out the link below uh, if you're interested uh, on this keyboard see you next time have a great day you're awesome